Mr. McCray, would you give us your full name and DLC number, please? Donald Dwayne McCray, 5515-27. Thank you. Mr. McCray, Mr. McCray, let me explain our process to you. First, I'm going to read some information into the record. Then we're going to conduct a parole interview with you. At the appropriate time, we will allow those persons who wish to have input to speak. Speaking on your behalf today is your cousin, uh, Zadarel Bagne, and uh, your girlfriend, who is the mother of your children, Jessica Anderson. Also present, but not speaking, is your mother, Hazel McRae Abra. Uh, at the end of that hearing, uh, you'll have an opportunity to say whatever you'd like to say to the board, and then we'll vote. You understand our process? Yes, sir. This is the matter of Donald D. McRae, DOC number 551-527, date of birth, June 10th of 1984. He's the third felony offender. He has a parole eligibility date of September the 2nd of 2022, an adjusted good, term de good time date of June 30th of 2033, and a full term date of September the 28th of 2033. He is currently serving a 15-year sentence on the charge of possession with intent to distribute marijuana after having been adjudicated a habitual offender. Is that information basically correct, uh, Mr. Uh, McCray? Yes, sir. But uh, I had turned myself in on dirty urine this time. And when did you get a dirty urine? I had uh, I turned myself in June the fourth of uh, twenty-two. So you had you had a write-up on June the fourth of twenty-two? No, sir. That was your revocation, or what? I'm not no, sure what you're telling me. No, I I had um I was I was on the street. I was going to Monitor and they told me to turn myself in. I ain't I ain't caught no charge. I ain't had caught no charge. <laughs> you yeah, I was revoked. I was revoked. Yeah. You were revoked. You, your probation yes, was revoked. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. So how long have you been in jail? I've been in jail fourteen months. All right. Okay. Fourteen. Your case has been assigned to Ms. Pearl Wise. She will begin our interview process. Would you please answer any questions she might have? Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Now, you, you said you've been in jail 14 months. That's since 9-2 of 22 or since June 4th of 22? June 4th of 22. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, and they, so it took three months before they went on and processed it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, but now when I look at your history, you had a lot of dirty urines. What's that no, all about? No, I, about? I was all, when I, I was late for the drug screen, that's when they were giving me ticks. I mean, the weekend warrior. Yeah, you fail your drug screen, and then sometimes you test positive. Both violations are listed. I have the record in front of me now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so what's going on with you? I was, when I was working, I was around people and it was showing a little bit in me. And I take fault for it. I ain't, I ain't supposed to be around. Were you using? No, ma'am. I, I, I smoked some CBD, not no real weed. This okay, time. okay, okay. So now, um, you know that that, that our LSP reentry program is, is, a, is a really an esteemed program. Yes, ma'am. You was in it from April the 3rd of 17 to December the 4th of 17. No, what did no. you learn? Huh? I got discharged December the 4th of 19. 19. I'm sorry. I can't read my own writing. Okay, 19. So what did you learn while you was at LSP? I, I, had, mm -hmm. I, took, I took up a trade, concrete finishing. Good, good. I took, I took classes inside, outside, there, thanking for uh -huh. a change, financial peace. And or Dell. Good. So the DOC, we thought we had you equipped and ready to go out and be successful. Yes, ma'am. Where did we mess up? I, I messed up from being around the wrong people. Okay. And what was your sobriety plan in, in uh in December of 19 when you got out? How do you plan on how what did you tell yourself you were gonna do to stay clean and sober? Stay, stay working, take care of my family, and do the right thing, and don't be around people. But you that, did. But you did. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. That, that's all. That's all I have. That's all I have, Chairman. Okay. 
let's hear from uh, your cousin, Miss uh, Bagne. Yes, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Would you please introduce yourself and tell us what you'd like us to know about your cousin? My name is Zacharia Badger. My cousin, Donna McCurry Sr., is more like a big brother to me. I've been suffering with MS for the last couple of months and um, having a lot of trouble with my health. And um, he was a big help to me when he was out here. Like he was around around people on a job, getting that stuff in the system. But I just don't think that he was treated fairly when they sent him because he didn't wasn't actually doing them, but he do take thought for it. And we have talked about it and prayed about it. And I just wanted to come home so we could go to church and get on with life and he could help with his kids because I don't have the best help right now. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, let's hear from uh, Miss Jessica Anderson. Ms. Anderson, can you hear me? You're on mute, ma'am. We can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am, we can. Please introduce yourself and tell us what you'd like us to know about Mr. McCray. My name is Jessica Anderson. I'm the mother of his kids, slash girlfriend. I've been knowing him basically like half of my life. And as I've been growing up, he's been a good, a good friend to me. And He's been a good father to his kids too. And I was nine months pregnant and his son was one year old when they took him away from us. And I was losing my dad at the time doing cancer. And I don't think he deserved to be locked up because he didn't even do anything wrong. I mean, he's not perfect, but he's perfect for us. And his kids need him and I need him too. I mean, he not out here killing nobody. He not no rapist. I mean, he do deserve a second chance. Just look at him as your son or your, or your grandson and don't throw his life away. He needs a second chance. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Anderson. Uh, Mr. McRae, is there anything you'd like to say before we vote? Yes, sir. I, I would I'd like to say thank you all for giving me a chance to go up. And I would like to be out there to help with my kids and do the right thing and stay around positive people. And, and if y'all can, if y'all do grant me the parole, can I take some substance abuse class that go along with me on our side? Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Can we vote? Yes, I'm ready to go. Okay, Ms. Wise. Uh, Ms. McCray, I, I'm really disappointed in you. Uh, your, your, your supporters haven't been in the system like you have. And I believe that you, you, you're doing them a disservice by saying the system is locking you up. You signed the contract of your conditions of supervision. You knew what you were supposed to do and not do. I didn't, I didn't go through the record and call out the number of times that you tested positive, the number of times that you missed drug screens. You were in a very good time. <laughs> DOC gave you a trade. They gave you treatment to know how to stay drug free. And you got people depending on you and you didn't do your part. Take some ownership of that. I, you got them thinking the system is locking you up. If you are on parole supervision, you are subject to drug screens, you need to be clean, period. You got children, you got people depending on you, you need to leave drugs alone, and you did. And you never said that. You, and you're not saying that to them. You're making them think DOC is locking up a man again. He didn't do nothing. And that's not true. For me, my vote is denied because of your poor supervision history, law enforcement opposition, and, and you need you need treatment that you're going to follow when you get out. That is my vote. Thank you, Ms. Wise. Mr. Freeman? I concur. Uh, I also agree, Mr. McRae. Uh, I think you need some more work. I think you need to accept responsibility for what you've done in the past and make sure you don't do it in the future. So uh, good luck to you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome.